Hello, welcome to the class of PHP programming language. So today I am going to discuss about the commands that we can use in MySQL for this transaction storage. Like here I will use the begin command, commit command and the rollback command. So here I have, for before that I have made a new table named as account. So here I have created this table with this number, balance and primary keys are the field of this table. And after that I have inserted the values to this table by using the insert command and so this is the account table that have the number as well as the balance so in 1 2 3 4 5 number it has a balance 1025 and 6 7 8 9 0 number has a 140 balance so now i am going to use the command that is as begin command so here the begin command is used to uh, use as a transaction in mysql that will start the transaction and uh, it will start with either a begin or a start transaction statement so here i am using the begin begin command so now i um, so here the transaction is begin and this particular account table the next command I am going to add that I want to update I am using the update command here like this the here the update command says that update account set balance equals to balance plus 25.11 where number equals to 1 2 3 4 5 so in account number 1 2 3 4 5 i am raising the balance by rupees 25 so so here if i want to uh, see that account so i'm running this command so here you can see that previously the uh, balance of this uh, account number 1 2 3 4 5 is 1025 now it's raised to as 10 will 50 so this is the way to start the transactions in this account table the next if you want to uh, commit this or if you want to fix this so it uh, we will use the commit command so it is used to make the permanent change to the database and a series of query in a transaction has successfully completed after entering the commit command so if you want to cancel the transaction then there is the another command so first of all we are using the commit command if you want to right here and now press enter so it will permanently uh, give the change to this account number that is it will add this 50 rupee uh, 50, uh, 25 rupees in this um, num account number 12345 the next i am using the next command that is rollback command so rollback command is used if you want to cancel the transaction rather than committing it so it we will send the rollback command instead for that so i am again updating this table like I'm So here you can see that I have used the update set command to set the balance of account number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with the I want to withdraw the 250 rupees from that balance and in the another account 67890 in that account I want to add the 250 rupees that I have withdraw from the first account. So for that uh, to see the change in the table I am using this command so now you can see that in the account number uh, its balance is withdraw by uh, my uh, 250 rupees and in the second account number it added this that 250 rupees in uh, the another account so now if you want to uh, uh, get this database permanent you can write here the commit command but if this transaction is wrong you can use the another command that is rollback command to get to the previous account details so here i'm using that command roll back so if you want to see the change in the account you can see here sorry so here i'm using the roll back command again
it's not showing the changes but this command is used for how to cancel the transaction so here there is some error in this so this is all about how you can you uh, you uh, how you can use this command begin commit and rollback and the transaction process in the mysql database thank you